so let's revise our lesson plants and the topic which we will revise under this lesson is parts of the flower pollination fertilization the learning objective for today's revision lesson is to be able to revise recall and remember the structure of the flower process of pollination and fertilization children i hope you remember that we have done parts of flower uh, when you used to come to school we have done each and every part of the flower in detail right so if you can see here the down green part is the stem and just above that is the green small leaf like structure which is called as the sepal right and the brightly colored part of the flower they are in different different colors in different different flowers they are called as the petals deep inside the flower there are two main parts which is called as the stamen and pistil stamen has further two parts the upper top knob like part is called as the anther and the stick attached to this knob this is called as the filament got it and in the middle right in the middle a pitcher shaped structure is there which is called as the pistil pistil has further three parts the upper knob like or the head part is the stigma and the long neck like part is the style and the last swollen part the swollen part is called as the ovary okay and inside the ovary if you remember there were round round egg shaped these are called as the ovules or eggs so let's do these parts of the flower in a little bit detail so flowers mainly contain the reproductive organs and they are protected by specialized leaves they are called as the sepals right and the sepals they are the outermost layer that protects the flower at the bud stage i i, I told you children the flower when it starts to uh, grow out of the plant it first exists as a bud stage okay which is small very small totally covered up with the green colored leaf like structure which is called as the sepals then comes the next part of the flower which is different different colored in different different flowers for example in a red colored rose flower the petals are red in color in the sunflower the petals are yellow in color in a hibiscus flower sometimes they are pink in color sometimes they are orange in color sometimes they are white in color most of them they are red in color so petals they are the colored part why they are colored children because the petals if they are brightly colored they will attract insects to them they will attract animals to them why because these animals or insects they are going to further help in pollination of the pollen grain so after the sepals and the petals the next part is called as the stamen stamen is the male part of the flower children stamen has further two parts the upper head like thing or the head like structure knob like structure is called as the anther anther is the place anther is the part where pollen is produced i am emphasizing on the word produced this is the place where pollen is produced and pollen is the male cells or the male sex cells or the male gametes of the plants clear and then there is a stick which is holding the anther this stick is called as the filament and this stick attaches the anther to the flower so how many parts are there in stamens in stamen there are two parts anther and filament and stamen is the male part of the flower further next part of the flower is the pistil pistil is the female part of the flower remember children it's the female part of the flower now pistil has further divisions which is called as the stigma which is the which has the sticky tip next one is the style and the ovary you can well see here stigma and the long neck like thing neck like structure which is called as the style and the down deep inside hidden inside the flower is the ovary okay stigma has some sticky or glue like substance over here 
then long neck like thing it's a it's actually the style and it is a tube like structure children it's not it's not a complete solid it's a hollow tube and down the ovary is a swollen part inside the ovary are the ovules okay and ovules are the female gametes the function of the ovary is to produce ovules or the female gametes or the female sex cells clear so here is a quick summary of the parts of the flower so for your learning purpose children these are the given parts over here and these are their functions in a summarized manner which we have just now studied a couple of minutes ago so as you all know children that the pollen grain is made on the anther right anther which is a part of stamen stamen is the male part of the flower so once the pollen grains are made in the anther these pollen grains exist on the top of the anther which i am putting here in red color dots you can see here red color these are the pollen grains here you can well see pollen grains in your garden children if you have any hibiscus flower if you sometimes when you are touching some flowers and you get the yellowish powder in your hand right that is the pollen grain children so these pollen grains they are carried away by insects because insects they love the bright color of the flower insects they come to the flower to uh, to take the sweet juice inside the flower which is called as the nectar so once the insects sit on the flower to take the juice that is called the nectar the pollen grain it sticks to their legs and then the insects will move from this anther or from this flower to another flower and then they will drop the pollen to the stigma of another flower or the insects may drop the pollen from the anther to the stigma of the same flower this process of moving of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called as pollination so pollination is the transfer of pollens from anther to the stigma of the same flower or of another flower so once the pollen grains they are dropped on the stigma they are going to stick over there they are going to stay over there as you all know the stigma has a uh, some sticky substance on its tip right so when the pollen grains they are dropped by the insects on the tip of the stigma what will happen the pollen will stay here on the tip of the stigma then what happens then the pollen will start giving out a tube which you can see the yellow color tube rising out right children and this pollen tube grows and grows and grows and goes deeper inside the ovary and then goes in deeper children this happens not in one day this happens not in two days this happen uh, around for like 15 20 days it takes time for the pollen to give out a tube and that tube grows inside the stigma and the style and reaches finally to the ovary it really takes time it takes around one month one and a half month to finally reach the complete pollen tube till the ovary now once the pollen tube reaches the ovary the male cell from inside the pollen grain will drop into the female ovary and the male pollen cell male sex cells male gametes will meet with the female gamete which is inside the ovary in the form of ovules this process is called as fertilization what is fertilization meeting of or the fusion of the male gamete and the female gamete inside the ovary this is called as the fertilization so once the pollen grain this is the pollen grain which is coming from the anther right and, the, and these pollen grains are carried by the insects from the anther to the stigma the term is what children it's pollination pollen grain reaches to the stigma and finally with the help of the pollen tube the male gamete the small dot inside you can see here children the small dot this is the male gamete okay this will meet with the egg of the or the ovules inside the ovary they both meet together inside the ovary what is that meeting called as this is called as fertilization clear children so both the nucleus they will mix up together and finally this is called as the 
this thing is called as the zygote where is zygote formed zygote is formed inside the ovary of the flower what is zygote zygote is the product of pollen and ovules zygote is the product of male gamete and the female gamete in future this zygote is going to become the seed is that clear children in future this zygote will become what it will become seed where in the ovary of the flower right so after the fertilization inside the ovary by that time pollen and ovule they are joining together to make seed in the meantime what will happen children the petals will fall off understand and then what happens in the meantime all see you can the yellow color petals they are all falling off right and the remaining part is what is the sepals they will remain there and the ovary will swell up see it's bulged up the beginning look at the ovary size of the ovary it was small right but now ovary is swollen up it become big it will become more big and more big right and finally this ovary will turn into a fruit and where is the seed the seed is here which is what is seed seed is the zygote the zygote is the seed okay so once we eat that fruit what we will do with the seed we will throw the seeds right that throwing away of the seed moving away of the seed from the place where it is born that is called as seed dispersal so let us look at the structure of a seed children a seed has these important parts the first one you can see here the outermost layer is the seed coat okay you can monitor the seed you can see the seed in your home take a gram or a um, or a, you know the kidney beans you can see in uh, kidney beans in arabic we call it as nakhi and in in urdu we call it as chole or rajma take it take one of them and soak it in water for one night and next morning try to peel off the outermost covering the outermost covering this is called as the seed coat right children the next part is the huge the large part which we eat which we can see is the cotyledon part okay and right in the middle when you open the cotyledons the two parts when you break the seed into two equal halves right in the middle you can see a small baby plant which is right now not green but as soon as you put it and the as soon as you sow it in the soil it will develop into a seedling and then definitely this baby plant will grow into a new uh, green colored baby seedling and then you can see here the embryo root these are very minute you cannot see them at uh, at this uh, after the soaking you have to you can see them after like one week after putting them into the soil so remember the parts of the seeds are very important children for your exam purpose outermost covering is a seed coat then the small baby part is the embryo and right down part of the embryo is the embryo root and the large part is the cotyledon which is storing the food for this baby plant or the embryo so what happens when we eat the fruit we eat the food a fruit and we throw the seeds that is called as seed dispersal then this seed is being carried out or it is taken away by different different means so seeds can be carried from one place to another place by different different means for example they can be taken from one place to another place by wind so those seeds which are carried away by wind they will definitely have fur on them they will have some wing like structure on them you can see maple seeds dandelion seeds they have fur and they are definitely going to be lighter in weight okay so that they can fly with the help of wind some seeds they are carried away by animals animals see the seeds which are going to be dispersed or taken away by animals they will have some hook shaped thing on them they have they will either they will have spikes or they will have hooks on them some seeds they are carried away by water definitely these seeds are going to be less denser than water so they so they can float on the surface of water that's why that's how they can be carried from one place to another place causing dispersal of seed and some seeds children they will burst open burst open another word is called as explosion okay so seeds they will dry up the pea pod you must have eaten this vegetable right so what happens if we don't use this vegetable it dries up when it dries up automatically it will burst open that is called as exploded okay 
so these are the different different means of the movement or the dispersal of the seeds children i hope you understood the lesson flower parts of flower fertilization pollination and the seed dispersal hope to see you all soon inshallah take care bye bye